Hello, I'm Phil Glover, and I'd like to demonstrate how our echo management software works. DevNIT's echo management software is a virtual appliance that can be run on your current hypervisor and requires just minutes to configure. Echo will communicate with any device running DevNIT software and is great whether you're overseeing a large-scale hosted desktop deployment or just managing a small group of thin client terminals. Let's take a closer look at how it works. We'll start with the Terminals tab. Here you can see a listing of all the terminals that are currently on your network and communicating with your echo management software. You'll see all the information from the name, description, location, IP address, all the way down to the unique identifier of the device. These first fields, the name, description, and locations, are editable, so you can add in information so it's easier to search through your different terminals. You'll see in the last contact tab that there are black numbers and red numbers. Red numbers show terminals that are no longer communicating, so you can easily see at a glance what terminals aren't communicating with your echo management software. Next, we'll look at the connections. Under the connections tab, you can create new connections, be it to your VMware, your Citrix, your No Machines, your X11, uh, any type of connection you may need to want, may need or want to make. Uh, so first, you just select the protocol you wish to use. Uh, for this example, use a Firefox connection. Hit select. You can enter the name and the local display name for that, as well as the uh, custom icon if you so choose. Then your general settings would include the URL, as well as if you wanted to auto start or auto restart. Auto start will make it so that the connection launches every time you start up the terminal, and auto restart will make it that every time that connection is closed, it will reopen. Auto start and auto restart are available on all of our different connection types. Next we'll look at settings. Terminal settings are cloned from a terminal, so there will be a collection of settings that you take from a specific terminal after you've configured it locally on the terminal and pull that into Echo. These can include sound, display, permissions, input, local storage, and management, as well as a few others. Lastly, we'll look at profiles. Pro profiles are actually a combination of connections and terminal settings lumped into one collection that can be deployed to multiple terminals. They can be deployed in three different mo modes. Those include select terminals, default profile, and apply by terminal details. Select terminals will allow you to pick out of a list of terminals who you want the uh, profile to apply to. Terminal details will allow you to select from details of a terminal, including the operating system, IP address, model, and terminal name. So if you know a range of IP addresses, you can enter that here. And then everything from the 0 to 50 range will receive this profile. And lastly, the default profile will apply to any terminal that does not have a select terminals or apply by terminal details profile. That's it for our overview. Uh, for more information, check us out at devnit.com or click the links in the description below the video. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn.